friends, I have a new human hair wig resource for you. And I'm so excited to tell you about this one. It is really incredible. The wig that I'm wearing and that I'm going to review is from a company called May Wigs Collection. May Wigs is owned by Lydia. Lydia's story is so great and I just love her and I love this hair and I can't wait to tell you more about it. If you are curious about this wig or you wanna hear a story of a woman who created beautiful wigs in honor of her mom, then stick around. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. I do wig reviews. I do hair loss videos. I talk about working to make wigs your own. I also share some of my health journey and some other things, but I mainly focus on hair loss and wigs here. And I'm really glad that you're here for this video because this is super exciting. I'm going to show you this wig from all around and then we'll get to talking about it. A few months ago, I ran across Lydia's content on Instagram and she was sharing the wigs that she was creating. And I was just blown away by the colors that she was sharing. So I had a video call with her and we chatted about her story and how she got into wig making and selling. And it's a really, it's heartbreaking and heartwarming at the same time. Her mom was diagnosed with cancer a number of years ago and Lydia made it her mission to try to figure out how to support her mom through that journey and through the hair loss that she was going to suffer. She started to do research and unfortunately her mom passed away, but May Wigs was born out of that experience and Lydia's goal is to help women who are suffering from hair loss or just want beautiful hair. And you guys, her hair is some of the best hair I have ever had. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I've tried a lot of wigs hundreds between synthetic and human hair and I have a lot of experience and I have rarely felt a wig this luxurious and this gorgeous. I sent her some inspiration pictures. I really really wanted a red human hair wig. I didn't have one and sent her the inspo pictures and this is what she created. She did a phenomenal job. Now what's unique, somewhat unique about Lydia's business model is she mainly focuses on creating custom pieces. She has video calls, she does consulting, and she really wants to help you find exactly what you're looking for. She just recently launched a new premium line of hair. This is from that premium line, and she has been working hard to find the best hair that she can source so that she can offer it. And her prices are incredible. I think this piece retails for somewhere around between $750 and $850 US dollars. That is incredible. That is unheard of for high quality human hair wigs. And so I think she has a variety of price ranges available. And I don't know you guys, I love bringing you resources. I really do love to share everything, but when I find a resource like this, I wanna shout, shout it from the rooftops. I'm so excited about she it. She has a lot of flexibility in what she offers. She can do any length, she can do any color. Let's talk a little bit about the cap construction because I do think her caps are mainly all constructed like this, but I do really encourage you to reach out to her if you have any specific needs. But this is what's called a 13 by six lace front cap. So we've got 13 inches of lace well beyond the ear all the way around and then six inches back. So you've basically got free parting space all throughout here and lots and lots of great lace to work with. When I first started wearing human hair wigs, I had no idea that there were different cap types. And I'll never forget when I got my first 16 in or 13 inch lace front, sometimes they're also called frontals. I didn't know what to do with it. The lace goes all the way back over to here. It can be really challenging when you're a new wig wearer, but I filmed a video showing how I cut this lace and I provided some commentary and some advice on what you can do with lace like this. You have lots of options depending on whether or not you have bio hair to blend or you have no hair or your hair, the wig that you're purchasing does not match your bio hair so you don't want to show it. There are lots of options. 
I'm not sure which video is going to come out first, my review or that tutorial. So look in the description. If there, if the tutorial is out, I will link it. If it's not, stay tuned. I will be putting it out as soon as I can. So we've got all of that lace. You've got combs to help if you want to tuck them under a wig grip or into your own hair, or you can just cut them off. They don't bother me. I don't use them. They don't bother me. You have a big comb in the back. We've got an extended nape with silicone right on the bottom. So if you struggle with your wigs riding up, this could help you out a ton. And then she has a place for a strap. So it, mine came, oops, I have a netting stuck on here. Mine came with this strap. And basically you put the strap on the back if you want a little bit more security and if you want to create tension so that that lace will lay flat. I am not needing the strap to have the lace lay flat and it's removable so you can just take it right off if you don't need it. Close wefting as well and we've got hook adjusters. Really, really nice cap. In addition to the video showing how to cut the lace on a wig like this and your different options so that you can cut it so that it will fit your needs best, I also filmed a video showing how I put these waves in it. So this has been curled. I took a 1.25 inch barrel curling iron and I put these waves in this wig. I did film it air dried though. I will tack that onto the end of this video so that you can see how this air dries. It air dries beautifully. I really do think, depending on how you like to wear your hair, this is a wig that you're not going to have to style a lot. You know, sometimes some human hair that you can purchase uh, dries really frizzy and not super natural looking. And sometimes you have more work to do with those wigs than others, depending on the style you like to wear your hair. This one dried gorgeous. I don't think it's gonna be a lot of work at all. But if you have never curled a human hair wig before, Stay tuned for that video to come out because I love a beach wave or curling iron because it has an automatic rotating barrel, makes curling hair quick and easy, and I highly recommend it. Another choice you have when purchasing from May wigs is density. So this piece is 150 density. Normally, you see 130 density on a lot of the human hair wigs out there. That's a really natural density, similar to um, people's bio hair that aren't losing their hair. 150 is just a little bit thicker. And what I'm noticing on 150 density, I'm noticing there's a little bit more volume up here because there's more hair up here and a little more volume right here. It's not super heavy, but if you are new to wig wearing, if you've been losing your hair for a long time, you might wanna go with 130 density to start. This isn't feeling like too much for me, but I also have a lot of experience. I believe you can also go up to 180 density. So if you're looking for the most luxurious dream hair ever, I think you can get it from me. I also think she did a fabulous job of making the hairline super natural and up on the top too. So one of the things that can be sort of dicey when you're ordering from a human hair retailer is how much customization did they do to the wig before sending it out? Plucking the hairline, plucking the top so that it's a natural density on top so that you can see down to the lace so it looks like scalp. All of those things are value add services. If you were to purchase a human hair piece straight from a Chinese vendor, um, generally you're not going to get a plucked hairline. You're not going to get it plucked on the top so it's got a natural density. You might not get a really great color. You know, the coloring that come straight from China uh, often need touching up. So one of the benefits to purchasing from somebody like May Wigs is you're going to get a piece that has been highly customized to be natural. That said, you may need to still do some more of your own customization. So. This is the cut that it came with. I did nothing to this piece but curl it. I washed it, I cut the lace, and I curled it. That is all I've done to this piece. And it already has some really nice shorter layers in the front to give it that natural drape. But you might want more face framing layers. You actually might want more plucking. You might want it thinned out a little bit. The beauty of human hair is that there's a lot that you can do to it to make it your own. But I don't want... I want to create some reasonable expectations. These wigs have been created in a more generic way to fit a wider variety of women. It's up to us 
to make it our own in the way that we like to wear our hair. But because she does consults, you have a better shot at getting exactly what you're looking for because she can meet with you. She can talk with you about what you're looking for and, and really meet your needs without having to buy a wig off the rack and then go find a stylist who can fix it for you. I think that is a tremendous value and not one that every human hair retailer offers. That's another reason I'm super excited about her. Now I got a medium cap. And I really should have gotten a small cap. This wig is fitting me kind of big. It, I've made it work. One of the benefits of having lace that goes all the way beyond the ears is that you can cut it back to make it fit your head. It was covering my ears when I first got it, but I cut it back so that it would fit me better. And I did show that in the video that I will be putting out. And so the only thing that I'm noticing, why I'm saying this is big on me, is it doesn't feel snug. Now I, you saw when I took it off, I have a wig grip on. That's gonna help hold this in place. I'm gonna be able to wear this very comfortably. I'm not gonna worry about this coming off my head. It will not come off my head. But for a new wig wearer, if you're not, and it's, you know, it feels loose back here as well. It's not hugging the nape of my neck. Now that could be a real benefit to somebody who finds wigs tight, uncomfortable maybe just any tightness on a wig gives you a headache so a 13 inch lace front allows you to get a little bit of a bigger wig that you can make fit you versus a hard uh, like a five inch where it's it's attached to cap there's not a lot you can do if that's too big for you except for send it in and have somebody make it smaller unless you know how to do that yourself so i just wanted to kind of give you that backstory because i have a medium I can make this work, I'm going to be able to wear it, but I really think I should have gotten a small. You can find my measurements in the description below. I have a 21.25 inch circumference and I'm very petite over the top of my head. That is not making this wig difficult to wear, but I'd be curious how much more comfortable a small cap is. And if I ever get another wig from Lydia, I will absolutely be getting a small cap and then I can give you guys an update. Let me summarize and then I'm going to get outside so that you can see this gorgeous red outside. Now this doesn't have a name. I had her custom color it for me. If you are loving this red and you would love to have a red of your own, you can reach out to Lydia and tell her that you love the color that Denise had. She'll know what she did for me and she can definitely do it for you or she can customize it further. I'll put all the details for how you can reach May Wigs in the description below. She really, guys, I'm, I'm just thrilled with her and these, this wig, and I am giving her my highest recommendation right now. I just think it's wonderful, and I love her pricing as well. Let me know if you have any questions. Human hair wigs are challenging because you never know what you're gonna get from a retailer. You know, they're not mass produced. While, while synthetic wigs aren't exactly mass produced in the way that jeans are, um, they still are more mass produced than human hair. Human hair generally go through a human being's hands to cut and color it. So knowing what you're getting is half the battle. And that's why I love that Lydia will meet with you and help you find what you're looking for. Even though I believe these are very, very well-priced wigs, they're not as expensive as a lot of the wigs of equal quality out there right now. It's still a lot of money to spend, and so you really should get what you want, and Lydia is gonna make that possible for you. All right, let me know if you have questions again. I will definitely give you guys an update on how this wig is doing. My first red, I'm gonna wear the heck out of it this fall. Let's get outside so you can see the color outside, and I just wanna thank you, Lydia, for, for helping me to finally get a red wig, for spending all that time with me, helping me to get to know you and learn about you so I can share about you with my community. I'm grateful. All right, everybody, let's get outside. All right, there is not a cloud in the sky, so I'm starting in the shade. Unfortunately, that makes it really dark on my phone, but you know, direct sunlight is so misleading. It really, isn't the best way to see the true color of a piece. So I'm gonna go in the house and I'm gonna get in front of a window, a big window so that you can actually see it in natural light because I just can't make that happen outside. Because when you go into the shade, it just doesn't pick it up right. But I thought I'd at least give you guys a look at it in direct light. All right, let's go inside. All right, I'm standing half in and half out. 
So I'm half on my deck, and I really do think this is going to give you a good idea of this color. I mean, you guys, she did so fantastic. Just a phenomenal job. Reds are not easy. I almost feel like if somebody can do a red, they can do any color. <laughs> Please let me know if you have any questions. I know I'm raving, but it's for good reason. I think she is worth checking out. I really do. Thanks for watching. All right, friends, I want you to see how this piece air dried. I've only washed it. I haven't cut the lace and I haven't wore, really worn it except for to put it on and play around a little bit just to check it out. And I am so impressed by the quality of this piece. I've not done anything but run a brush through it. I haven't taken any heat to it, nothing. And look at how it air dries. I don't know about you, but I could wear this air dried. I would not feel the need to style this at all. It's so great. So can't wait to learn more about it, tell you guys more, but as always, I want you to see how it air dries if that's important information for you. Talk to you later. Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Here are a few videos I think you might enjoy. Go ahead and click on one and watch.